in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. My brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate this Holy Eucharist. You were sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. You sit at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. O oh God, from whom all good things come, grant that we who call on you in our need may at your prompting discern what is right and by your guidance do it. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the first book of Kings. The brook near where Elijah was hiding ran dry because no rain had fallen onto the land. So the Lord said to Elijah, move on to Zarephath of Sidon and stay there. I have designated a widow there to provide for you. He left and went to Zarephath. As he arrived at the entrance of the city, a widow was gathering sticks there he called out to her, please bring me a small cupful of water to drink. She left to get it, and he called out after her, please bring along a bit of bread. She answered, as the Lord your God lives, I have nothing baked. There is only a handful of flour in my jar and a little oil in my jug. Just now I was collecting a couple of sticks to go in and prepare something for myself and my son. When we have eaten it, we shall die. Elijah said to her, do not be afraid. Go and do as you propose. But first, make me a little cake and bring it to me. Then you can prepare something for yourself and your son. For the Lord, the God of Israel says, the jar of flour shall not go empty, nor the jug of oil run dry until the day when the Lord sends rain upon the earth. She left and did as Elijah had said, and she was able to eat for a year, and Elijah and her son as well. The jar of flour did not go empty, nor the jug of oil run dry, as the Lord had foretold through Elijah. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Lord, let your face shine on us. Lord, let your face shine on us. When I call, answer me, O my just God. You who relieve me when I am in distress, have pity on me and hear my prayer. Men of rank, how long will you be dull of heart? Why do you love what is vain and seek after falsehood? Lord, let your face shine on us. Know that the Lord does wonders for his faithful one. The Lord will hear me when I call upon him. Tremble and sin not. Reflect upon your beds in silence. Lord, let your face shine on us. O Lord, let the light of your countenance shine upon us. You put gladness into my heart more than when grain and wine abound. Lord, let your face shine on us. Alleluia, alleluia. Alleluia, alleluia. Let, let your light shine before others, 
that they may see your good deeds and glorify your heavenly Father. Hallelujah, hallelujah. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Jesus said to his disciples, you are the salt of the earth. But if salt loses its taste, with what can it be seasoned? It is no longer good for anything but to be thrown out and trampled underfoot. You are the light of the world. A city set on a mountain cannot be hidden, nor do they light a lamp and then put it under a bushel basket. It is set on a lampstand where it gives light to all in the house. Just so, your light must shine before others that they may see your good deeds and glorify your heavenly Father. The Gospel of the Lord. In today's gospel, Jesus says, you are the light of the world. What does it mean for us as believers to be the light? A real lamb gives us light in the darkness and helps us to avoid stumbling. As the followers of Jesus, our presence in this world is to be the light for others by the way, by what we do, and by what we say. For instance, where there is hatred, let us bring love. Where there is sorrow, let us bring comfort. Where there is doubt, let us bring faith. Where there is despair, let us bring hope. We are the light of the world. But the reality is there will be days when we do not feel like being light at all. There will be days when light becomes dim or simply burns out. The dark night of the soul is real. During the coronavirus pandemic, some of us might experience dryness in our prayer, struggle in our relationship, feel lonely, or fall into depression. When we are in those circumstances, we must recall that the light that we have is not from our own. It is not from our own merits or good deeds, but it originates from God, who is the source of light. Thus, let us try to stay by that light, by our daily prayers, by reading spiritual books, by receiving the sacraments, especially the Holy Eucharist, when we can. And when our light shines brightly, remember, it is not for our own sake or for selfish recognition, but it is for those who look at it might see the glory of God. May God help us to be the light that shines in our family, in our workplace, and in our community. Amen. With confidence in God's love, let us offer prayers to our Heavenly Father. For all priests and pastors, may the Lord continue to bless them 
and strengthen them in faith. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. For world leaders, may the spirit of wisdom guide their work of governance in justice and peace. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. For those who live in despair and darkness, may the Lord bring them comfort and healing of mind and spirit. Let us pray, pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. For all the people who are inflicted with the coronavirus, and any other disease, either physical or mental, may God heal them. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. For all who have died, may the Lord joyfully welcome them into his heavenly banquet. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. And let us pause for a moment to consider the special intentions that we hold in the silence of our heart. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our prayer. Heavenly Father, we humbly offer these prayers to you, and we ask you to answer them according to your will. We ask this to Christ our Lord. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for your goodness we have received. The bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands, it will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for your goodness we have received. The wine we offer you, for the divine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. My brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. And the Lord accepts the sacrifice in your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of the Holy Church. Look kindly upon our service, O Lord, we pray, that what we offer may be, may be, an, may be an acceptable oblation to you and lead us to grow in charity. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, for in you we live and move and have our being. And while in this body, we not only experience the daily effects of your care, but even now possess the pledged of life eternal. For having received the first fruits of the Spirit, through whom we, you raised up Jesus from the dead, we hope for an everlasting share in the Paschal mystery. And so, with all the angels, we praise you as in joyful celebration we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory, Hosanna and highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord, Hosanna and highest. You are indeed the holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like a dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, 
He took bread and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks. He gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink for me. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of a new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of your death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you had held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may gather into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity. Together with Francis, our Pope, Kevin, our Bishop, and his brother, Bishop Timothy and Thomas, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostle, Saint Noble, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heir to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, the unity of the Holy Spirit, our glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our, Our Father, Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and save from all distress as we await the blessed hope in the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord, Jesus Christ, who say to your apostle, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold, the 
Lamb of God, behold, he who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy. You should enter my room. For all my sins. the word, and my soul shall be healed. Let us pray together the prayer of the spiritual communion. My Jesus, Jesus, I believe, believe that you are present in the most, in the holy, most holy sacrament. sacrament. I, I love, love you above, above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Let us pray. May your healing work, O Lord, free us, we pray, from doing evil and lead us to what is right, to Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you and your family, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace, glorifying the Lord by your life. Thanks, Thanks be, to, be God. to God. Let us pray together the prayer of St. Michael the Archangel. St. Michael the Archangel, defend, defend us in battle. battle. Be our, be our protection, protection against, against the wickedness, the wickedness and, snares and snares of the devil. devil. May God, God rebuke, rebuke him, him, we humbly pray. pray. And do and thou, O Prince, Prince of the Heavenly Holy Host, Holy by the power of God, thrust into hell Holy Satan Holy and the other evil spirits who prowl about the world for the ruin of souls. Amen. Amen.